Good morning, folks. We've got two bits of eye candy sprinkled with science. We're going to see a high space weather mark of the year. We're going to check out some earthquakes and, as always, see the last 24 hours on our star and what we're watching in the days ahead. Two filament snaps on the left. Couple impulsive low-level M-class solar flares on the right. The big active region is departing while the space weather risk shifts to the coronal holes and plasma filaments here in the second part of the week. We're going to zoom in to the bottom left next southern incoming quadrant. We'll see the two filament snaps, neither one targeting our planet. The leading dark patch is the coronal hole, fairly small, but the wriggling snake-like rope behind it is a huge plasma filament. It's becoming the primary eruption watch on the sun, especially since the sunspots are on their way to the far side, including that big one on the south. We'll have our eyes on it for any goodbye flares it decides to send, but we're off to seismicity next, where the largest quake of the last day was in Vanuatu, a 6.4. But where they can handle those events fairly well, my attention was more off the coast of Oregon, 5.7 and several smaller ones as well. Hopefully, it's all we're going to take that close to Cascadia. Folks, this is the SOHO and Discover solar wind data. Speed on top, density on the bottom. Look at that spike top right. It's the CME impact that caused the geomagnetic storm this week, by far and away the most impressive solar wind of the last full year. Not even close. That's why we took such a strong solar impact, and it's not surprising, especially since it arrived 12 hours early. Must have been fast. Let's get some eye candy up next, starting with an 800-year-old supernova remnant seen here in infrared. We can't see it with our eyes from Earth anymore, but they did in the 1100s for over 100 days link to that one is below. And folks, many of you know the ESA has begun targeting Enceladus for an upcoming mission. Even while the Europa Clipper mission is getting most of the hype and Europa is indeed interesting, there's no question Enceladus is my favorite moon in the solar system. Its dynamic icy shell and subsurface ocean are probably the best chances to find microbial life outside of the earth. And now they are starting to think that that evidence could be detectable from a single ice grain, which, funny enough, Enceladus likes to blast out of the South Pole jets on a regular basis. If you didn't catch last night's video, our two most important books are currently on sale. Very much hoping we can get as many people caught up to speed as possible. Links are below. We greatly appreciate your support. We're watching the sun, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.